Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome today with Cooking with Jim. Today I'm going to show you an easy and good way of making something in the air fryer. It's called Scrapple Fries. Basically, when you make Scrapple Fries, you cut the Scrapple like it's uh, French fries. And then you put them in the uh, deep fryer and you deep fry them. But today we're going to do it a different way. We're going to cut this like it's french fries, but we're going to put them in the air fryer in the Ninja Foodie. And we're going to see how it turns out. So join me today. I guess I should be doing this. Join me today for a wonderful excursion into cooking as we try Scrapple Fries! Do not eat if you do not like Scrapple. Okay. We're back, even though we didn't go anywhere. So you want to take yourself a nice good piece of scrapple here. It's pretty good. You want to cut it into French fry size. So first we're going to do is we're going to cut it straight down. Now as you can see, it's about the same thickness as French fries now. You're not going to get a whole bunch of them out of here because of the fact that you're not doing it too thick. Hey, visitor! How you doing? I got a visitor watching me over there. Leroy's watching me today. Let's move this a little bit over here. Here, so we can get me in the picture a little better. Because, as you, everybody knows, it's all about me. Okay. Then, what you want to do is you want to take them and you want to slice them. Eh, you know, maybe do like three slices for each. Now, as you can see... It's pretty good, right? It's a good size. Okay? You might want it a little little thinner. You might want it a little thicker. It's up to you. But we're going to try it at this one here. So we're going to go here. Here. Actually, we're going to do this one a little thinner here. Okay, there we go. And then we'll go for this one. Uh-huh. I know you guys are probably bored by now, so I'll tell you a story while I'm doing this. Once upon a time, there was a man who owned a pig farm. And when he got done cooking with his pigs, he had all this stuff left over on the floor. So he's like, how can I make this and sell this where these people will eat it? Hence, he developed Scrapple. And the people loved it. They loved Scrapple. They said, this is great. We love it. Until one day, he said, you know something? I'm going to tell you what's in it. And he told everybody, boys and girls, what's in Scrapple? Well, everybody freaked out. They said, I'm not eating this. That's disgusting. I'm going to cut this one in half a little bit here. That's disgusting. I'm not eating that. Then they tried it again, and they said, this is great. But then there still are people who will not eat Scrapple because of everything that's in it. Now, if you want, boys and girls, I can tell you what's in Scrapple. But then you won't want to eat it. So I'm not going to tell you. Scrapple has got a wonderful taste to it. And it just proves that God put animals on this earth. For us to eat them. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of these bigger ones in half here. So we got nice thin pieces. Look at that. See that? Ah, that's gonna be good. All right. So now what we want to do is we're gonna move over here. We want to set our Ninja Foodie up to 400 degrees. Okay. So let's. Okay, so, I know, really. So we set our Ninja Foodie here. And we're going to be air frying them. So, give me one second, I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, so we got our Ninja Foodie set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to put, yeah, I know, it's... It's got spray in it, so it's not really dirty. So you want to put your french fry slices in here. Give yourself a little bit of room because you're going to have to flip them after a certain amount of time. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're only going to make put a couple of more small pieces in here. 
All right, that seems good. So then you want to shut it and turn it on. You want it to set it to air fry. You want to go 40, 400 degrees, and then you want to go for nine minutes. Then after nine minutes is done, you want to flip them and you want to do it again. So while that's going, I'll be back in nine minutes to uh, show you that we can flip them. Okay, everybody, we're back. It has been nine minutes, and what we want to do now is we want to take and we want to flip them. Be careful because they might have a little bit of a hard time flipping. That's weird. I buttered it up too. You know something? Let's do it this way. Let's go with trusty spatula. Let's flip them with the spatula if we can. Yeah, it's a little easier. Kind of. Not really. Okay, well we got somewhat. Alright. So now we're going to take them, we're going to put them in for nine more minutes. Same temperature. And air crisp. 400. And we'll be back in nine minutes to see how it turns out. Okay, so we've got our, we got our uh, fries done, our uh, scrapple fries. And I just wanted you to take a look at them right here. They really looked like they turned out really well. Now, Chick-fil-A now sells their Polynesian sauce and their other sauces at Walmart. You can buy them over there by where the ketchup is. So we're going to try a little bit of Polynesian sauce dripped on the fries. And then we'll do a taste test. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Look at the style of that. I'll bring it up here a little closer so you can see. All right. Now, let's take this down and we're going to switch the camera around. So now you get to see my lovely face again. All right. So we're going to try one. Okay. We're going to give it a shot. It's got the Polynesian sauce on it. Mmm. Wow. That is really tasty. Mmm. That Polynesian sauce, by the way, was a recommendation from my beautiful wife. And it was a great recommendation, I might add. I'm going to try another one just to make sure it still tastes good. Mmm. Wow. You got to try this recipe. So go ahead Try the recipe the way I told you. In any air fryer, it doesn't have to be a Ninja Foodie. But try it in any recipe. And you will really, really be glad you did. Mmm. Alright, goodbye.